I'm gonna start, I'm probably gonna start with the, uh, we call it bumka, which is like chicken and the ginger soup, basically. And um, because lots of ingredients that I really need um, can't grow here. So my sister, which is so kind, sending me stuff and um, that I probably work, that kind of stuff. And there is the basil kind of stir fried with meat and um, and this is the we call it the musman it's like a, another type of curry but it's a little bit less spicy and um, sweeter normally we eat well it's like it, it's like occasionally you know like new year or something we'll eat big dinner but normally we have big lunch and breakfast and we have small dinner. Yeah, it is um Gati Nam Samret Rup which is um coconut milk. There's like every year you will hear like the news about a guy watching like or walking his coconut farm and then the coconuts fall down on his head and he died. At first I was thinking, you know, not to come to US and just go on through high school and go to college in Thailand and um but my sister she was an exchange student to um she spent a year in Iowa and she loves it like um United States has like changed her in a good way and I love learning new things so I was decided, it was always in my mind that I should do. And then um, I got a scholarship from the government. Um, I've been to New Zealand for a month. And then I loved it. I love being in a foreign country. And you know, you see the difference and stuff. Like, yeah, and I really like it. I like meeting new people and talking to them. And um, yeah. So I. After I came back from New Zealand, I decided that I should do it. It's hot. Nice. My dad said their tail has some calcium in it, but my mom and me and I don't like it. He said it's nutritious. I was like, nutritious can, can't be delicious. <laughs> Because tomato is like soft and juicy, so I'm just gonna put it last so it didn't come like mushy. I don't, I don't know if I use this like correct word or not because there's so many times that I say things that I mean another thing. Mm -hmm. Chana knows that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, at first when I found out that I'm going to Montana, I don't know the town yet. I know that it's Montana. And, you know, basically every girl in Thailand wishes they can go to, like, prep school in New York City or something like that. And I was kind of like, Montana, okay. My sister's been there. And she says, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and uh, people are really nice, really gentle and kind. Yeah, I really like it here. And Shannon, Shannon and Scott taught me how to ski. It was good. It was cool. Even though, <laughs> um, I, I made my host father, um, Scott, fall, fell down one time, and I feel really bad, but <laughs> I fell too, so. See, I'm looking for the yeah, shrimp. Yeah, I can grab a pop. Or this one is shrimp. I'm going to try the shrimp first. Okay. Just. Okay. So. I'll wait until we'll get it more. Okay, so now what's this one called? Mm -hmm. oh, it feels so yes. much like home. Does it? Uh -huh. Yeah. I gotta get some. Does it smell like home? I thought so. Did you just want to? 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 No. But we always use, um, you know, spoon and frog. But in America, I noticed you guys use lots of frogs. Like, frog. Fork. Oh no! <laughs> Fork! What the? <laughs> Not the frog, but. <laughs> 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 <laughs>